In this video, we will see the second type of report programming done in ABAP that is interactive reports. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will cover the overview of interactive reports. Then we will see the events that are used to create interactive reports. Then we will see the comparison between classical reports and interactive reports. So what exactly are interactive reports? Interactive reports allow you to control the retrieval of data. Moreover, with the help of interactive reports, the user first displays an overview list and also known as the basic list. Then there are multiple other lists that follows when the user double clicks on the particular list item and the second overview list that we are getting is secondary list. So there is one basic, basic list and when you, the user double clicks on the basic list, he gets on the secondary list. So there can be 20 of them. So total in total there can be 21 list. So the list number are stored in a system variable known as SYLSIND. Moreover, there is another system variable SYLISCL. So the data stored in that particular line is stored into SYLISCL system variable. Now let us see the events used for creating an interactive report. So first there is at line selection. So the, this event is triggered whenever the user clicks on or double clicks on the list line, line items. So to know the selected line contents, we have two other keywords that is hide and get cursor. So hide is a keyword which is used to hide the data into a memory space. So temporary memory space called as hide area for further processing. So we can, when we are double clicking on a particular line item, so that particular data is stored into temporary memory, memory called as hide area. So we can apply loop or some other processing stuff to process out that particular data into hide area. Then let us see what is get cursor. So get cursor statement used to read or to get selected line content that is field name, field value or into the variables. Now let us look at the second event that we are using that is at user command. So this particular event is triggered whenever the user, user is clicking on a particular custom GUI button. So for example, uh, in the output screen, we have a particular GUI button that we have created. So on the click of that particular button, we have this particular event triggered. Then we have top of page during line selection. So whenever we are selecting a particular line and then we are transporting the transferring into the second page that is into a secondary list, then we have a particular page number that we can give at the top. Then we have at pf function key uh, event. So this event is get tri getting triggered whenever we are pressing F1 key or F2 key. But this particular event is now obsolete in the latest new versions. Now let us compare between classical and interactive reports. So even though they are uh, used for retrieving the data from the database table, but there are some differences between them. So classical reports does not allow the user to interact with an SAP system. But on the other hand, interactive reports, they allow the user to interact with the SAP system. Moreover, classical reports provide no control over the output after executing the report. But on, on the other hand, interactive reports enables the user to control the output after executing the reports. And in the classical reports, we see there is no other secondary list. That is, we can't drill down the data. But in case of interactive reports, there are functionality to drill down the data. That means when we are double clicking on the basic list uh, page, we can go to the secondary list. So with the help of a simple example, I will show you the functionality of interactive reports. So now let's look at an example on interactive reports. So here I will just take the example of hide that is at selection screen event. There is the hide functionality. We will be seeing the example of hide functionality here in the interactive reports. Moreover, I have already created a Z interactive report and I will be just displaying it to you. So here it is. So initially we are just describing the interactive report and then we have the structures here TY Mara and TY Macket. So all these fields are already defined here with the help of T TY Mara structure and TY M Macket structure. Then we are just declaring internal table and work area. So this internal table that is IMARA is of the type table of TYMARA that is the first structure that we are used and similarly work area is also of the type TYMARA and simli similarly we have internal table on MACIT and work area on MACIT. So 
now we have a input field that is parameter that we are using it is of the type mara m a t k l and then we are using select statement so it is fetching m matna this all these fields are being fetched from mara that is whatever value we are passing here in the parameters that using that it is fetching all these data and at the last we are just looping at it and here we can see it is being looped on internal table mara that is the first internal table that we have declared this was the first internal table that we have declared and it was of the type ty mara structure so it is being looped into work area and all these fields are being populated here so if we see here if i just run it here and if i just provide a value here suppose this is the value and if i just execute it so here we are able to see all this data so now let us see a functionality on interactive reports that is hide so what does hide do hide is just storing it is a keyword which is used to hide the data into a temporary memory called as hide area for further processing so suppose if i am double clicking on that particular data that we just saw if i just double click here it will take me to another page and for that some processing needs to be done and that processing is being done using hide actually that that information is being hold from hide and this information is passed on to the select statement here we are passing it and here an event from interactive reports is being used that is at line selection so what does at line selection do this event is triggered whenever the user double clicks on any of the list item and to know the selected line context we have two keywords or statements that is one is hide and the other one is get cursor so in this example we will be just using hide statement so here uh, in this particular event that is at line sec selection that is whenever the user is double clicking so this but piece of code is being executed and what it is it is just selecting all these fields from macket table into the internal table i macket and where this particular condition is being satisfied that is matner equals to this which was stored using height and at the last we are just looping i macket into work area macket and all these fields are being being written on the screen so accordingly suppose we are just writing 001 and executing it now we can see multiple data here so if i just double click on any of the data it would take me to the to the second screen that is uh, a detailed report would be shown to me so suppose if i double click on this so here we go so here i am getting a detailed report report on this particular data that is this particular data was stored in the temporary uh hide area and it is being further processed when i uh, when i just double click on it so this was just a simple example on internal reports and moreover on um, uh, an event on internal uh, interactive report that is at line selection there are multiple other events also but for this particular example we have chosen to show you only this particular event that is at line selection so hope this particular concept on interactive reports was clear to you thanks for watching